Hello, Scorpios. How are you doing? Let's see what's coming up in your energy with Scorpio Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So, I hope that you're doing great out there and, um, and everything's super good for you. All right, um, I'm just going to show you the two cards that flipped over, but we're going to put them back. It's the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Three of Cups. So you could have been dealing with somebody who's going through a divorce, breakup. That puts you in a third party, but we'll see if it comes back out, okay? All right, Angel, Guides, and Spirit, show me the cards for Scorpio. This is going to be for Scorpio. So I'll show them the cards um, to get us into the energy. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you subscribers for being on my channel for Scorpio family. I am Scorpio Sun, Moon, Venus. I'm sorry, Scorpio Sun and um, Scorpio Moon. And of course, we're all from Mars and Pluto. But anyway, um, so I hope that you're having a good day. So let's get into, if you like a personal reading, thank you. And thank you, Chris, for that great comment that you left for me about doing your reading. And your email to confirm all those things so thank you so much Chris for that advertisement <laughs> so uh, if you have had a personal reading with me can you leave it in the comments because I want people to know I'm legitimate and who I am you know it is hard to trust people in the world but um, if you're if you had had a reading with me let me know in the comments okay just under this reading. All right, so let's see Scorpio. So let's see what's coming out for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rasa. Let's look at our first card. All right, this one wants to come out. And there's that queen, a princess of wands. Oh, okay. I'll be doing some kind of, oh, there's a nine, a seven of cups. Okay, who who upset you, Scorpio? Followed by the, the five of cups. And I mean, I'm sorry, the seven of cups and the nine of cups. And the five of ones, you're still upset or pissed off about something. Sorry to say that word, but that's what it feels like here. That you are really like, I don't know if this person has reached out to you. Yeah, that's what I feel like. This person, King Knight of Swords. <sighs> okay, this is okay. This is your energy, Scorpio. This is for Scorpio's energy. All right, so there's that three of cups again. Temperance, there's that three of cups again. So let's see here. All right, Scorpio. So if you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me in the description box. Um, I am a healer, a spiritual healer, as well as trying to help all the Scorpios or cross watchers, you know, as you as well, if you need help. Of course, I'm available to as many people as I can reach to heal their hearts and get them on the right journey. All right, Scorpio, in your main energy here, you have the Princess of Wands. So there's something in your energy that you're very fired up about. It's still like this emotional sense where you're just still in the, like, how dare you come into my life and you did all this to me. You brought all this crap to me, trouble, drama, stress, everything you could. It looks like some of you could have just, um, this person left left you in a worse way. That's what I f I'm hearing. I, that this person really left you in a bad situation. And and they, they told you all these things that was going to make you feel good. And to draw you into their, their world. But I feel like you're a Scorpio. You feel, with the Nine of Cups here, you're saying... Like, I'm better off and you did me a favor. I feel like this is what you said. This person did me a favor. My ex did me a favor. My family member did me a favor. So you're in this happy mode of, even though you're still fiery here and you know all these things that this person did to you, could have put you in the options. They could have just played these games with you. All kind of things went on with this person. It's not just one or two things. It's a lot. The Nine of Cups here is like you feel like this person did you a giant favor by leaving you with this Five of Pentacles. Or you might have left them. You did your own self a favor. The trash took itself out is what I'm hearing. The Five of Wands here, but you are with that fire energy and the Five of Wands. You are still fired up about... It's almost like... I'm feeling like here is like... 
you are just still in that anger mode or that upset mode that frustration mode like this person that I trusted put me through hell here and how dare they come in my life acting like there's somebody that they're not and but they did me a favor it's not a sword it's probably going to reach out to you and contact you but you're kind of saying like ah no thanks um i do feel like you might be watching that too where you want to hear what they have to say but at the same time you don't want to hear it and the conference here in the reverse is underneath this five of wands you feel like this looks like a bit divorce or some kind of situational ship that just left you just like like I said they did you a favor by walking away but they did so many things to you it's like you know they played with your mind and your heart and everything about you and they put you in this bad situational ship or whatever it was um, but you have the ten of cups here and the temperance here you could be dealing definitely with a fire sign here or Sagittarius for sure they promised you a lot of things that did not come true they told you things just to make you trust them to make you believe them but the whole time they were deceiving you with lies and deception with the seven of swords so you're trying to get back this balance of your life you're trying to get back to a place where you can feel like yourself again and a, to a place where you don't but you know better now right you know better that this person is still trying to play games and scorpio you got to get out of the game okay um if this person reaches out to you understand they're just coming back let's look at this king knight of swords here why is this knight of swords here for scorpios sun moon venus and rising why is this knight of swords here they're watching you too. They're they're kind of feeling like Scorpio. This person has like an ego feeling like you're never going nowhere. Yeah, they're really heartbreaking, but they're trying to feel like they can come back at just any time they want to. But they're back and forth with you still. Like one day they're talking to you, the next day they're not. Not a King of Swords. There it is. The King of Swords I said earlier. They're giving you the ice cold shoulder. Like I said, they're talking to you sometimes, sometimes they don't. But they deceived you. They lied to you. They promised you the world. And they're going to promise that they loved you. They cared about you. They're going to come see you. And none of this came true. They left you hanging. But you are trying to keep your inner peace here, your harmony, your balance to your own life. Because you know this person is trouble, Scorpio. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, but this person's energy is like heartbreak and you're healed and they know you're healing, but you're not quite there yet, Scorpio, because you're still fed up. You get you got fed up, yes, but you're still angry about the situation deep down inside is the root cause for the way that I know you go out and you put on another happy face when you go to work and smiling, but deep down inside it's just like that you feel like there's a tick, like a a parasite on your heart is just or in you know something that's just biting at you and you feel like it's just won't go away but this is because of this person's behavior and they they're being silent on you on purpose they can't communicate but at the same time they're trying to act like they're mad at you to make you feel guilty Scorpio don't take this Scorpio So there's the Queen of Wands. So this match, you felt like it was the Ten of Cups. You know, this breakup between the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. This breakup could have been a marriage here. But this person just took this. Why, what does the King of Swords want to say? I feel like you're the Queen of Wands. You just had enough of this hot stuff. But they try to make you feel guilty. Or they were trying to make you and they're trying to contact you and talk to you about trying to say hey you know or can we meet somewhere for coffee and have a chat no Does this person put you through a lot Scorpio there's the princess of swords now they could have had um, they're watching you they're stalking you with different accounts but they're keeping silent 
Why are they being silent on Scorpio? They're watching you too. This person does not have any communication skills whatsoever. See, they're all confused. There's not the nine of swords. They're anxiety, having anxiety. You might be feeling this, but they're keeping you on confused on purpose. This is why they don't speak to you. They feel like you know. I talk to Scorpio when I want to talk to Scorpio. You know. I do feel like they tr they're just trying to do this to aggravate you or irritate you because they know you want to you you want to probably tell them off and you're upset with them so they go silent and they're like okay another day another day another day i'll come back and talk to scorpio another day okay so let's look into their energy but this is what i feel like they're doing to you to keep you confused now you could be watching their page too you might be looking at their pictures or checking their um there's ten of cups in reverse but we haven't got to their energy but you might be looking to see if they message you you know you haven't completely went no contact here that's what i'm feeling like you're you're still kind of watching too all right show me the cards for scorpio's person's feelings but they do want to talk to you but they're being in the king of swords they're a little bit immature here they can't communicate. That's why they're just... I feel like they feel like every time they talk to you, you're just going to chew them up and spit them out. So, they don't want to have an apologize to you. Their energy is like... If you, you may have said something about them apologizing to you, but they haven't. So, I'm going to get some more cards. For the Seven of Swords here... What is the seven? I mean, seven of wands here. Lots of wands energy here. They feel like, yeah, you. They feel like you have not. You might act like you're not going to talk to them or whatnot, but they know you're not going anywhere. They know you're you're holding on to them. Gosh, you haven't broken the cycle of this person. So this is why they're they're just it's like they're patronizing you or doing something to you. They feel like you betrayed them. That you hurt them. Why is the Ten of Pentacles? It's something about a commitment or investment. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? For the Scorpio's person, something good. Or Cross Watcher. Okay, the cards are jumping. I can't even keep them in my hands here. They really think that eventually you two are going to be back together. And they feel like they can extend the time. It feels like it's been a year, six months to a year. I don't know. It, it's been a while since you have spoken to this person. If not, this person's. But anyway, they're still thinking I can get Scorpio back whenever I want. Scorpio loves me too much. They believe you wish for them to be in your life. And no matter what they do, you'll always take them back. Alright. They also have the Nine of Cups. But you called them out on about being a liar. You called them a liar, a cheat, a player. Deceiving. And this person knows that they're just this person, but at the same time... Yeah, they think you're, 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 they know you're worth it, but they think you don't see your own worth, and they don't like the way, they, so they reject you, Scorpio, on purpose. So if you have somebody that's not talking to you, they're doing it on purpose. They're like, I talk to Scorpio when I feel like it, but they're trying to make you feel guilty for you standing, standing up for yourself, but they have not moved on. Anything else for this person? They are trying to be single, make money. For Scorpio's person. But they feel like they can be make money and make be successful. And they, they're going to come back when it's ready. They're living. They might be going out at bars, drinking, having fun with friends, saving money. 
But I feel like they can have you back, Scorpio, anytime they want to. All they have to do is just say something to you and you eat it out of the out of the palms of their hands. Something like that. What is that vibe? What is the outcome for the Scorpio's person and Scorpio? What's the outcome? Ooh. Ace of Cups. Some of you are you're so mad, but you don't want this person back. But at the same time, you still love them deeply. They thinking you're going to still love them no matter what. Like, even if they don't see you for two or three years, five years. From this breakup, you still love them. And you had the Hierophant before and first. Uh, they do see you as Empress. Why is the Empress here? There's the Eight of Coins. Why is the Empress here? And this person feels like they're the Empress too. But there's that Three of Cups and Five of Cups. They know you miss them. But you already know you're not going to deal with, share your body with nobody. Because you feel like you're being manipulated from this person when they come back to talk to you. But you, you got to remember, Scorpio, here that you are the Empress. And when I say that, I mean like... You really got to love yourself and stand up for yourself. Even when you really love someone and you want them back and you miss them and all that. But you got to remember what they did to you, Scorpio. You got to remember this person left you at your worst up here. They did you so dirty and do, did you so wrong. And all the things that they did to you that made you so upset, made you angry, made you mad. That caused chaos in your life. And they feel like they could just walk back and do it again and again and again. You got it. You got to love yourself here as the empress. Forget about this person. There's only what a billion people on the planet. Okay. You see the um, the moon was special tonight, so you might be drawing some. You might be getting a lot of headaches, frustrational sense. Remember who you are, and stay close to your spirit side. Okay. It's like a little bit like you lost your spirit here. And I don't mean your spirit like a soul spirit. I mean like your who you are, your energy level. Hmm. Listen to your intuition, okay, Scorpio? No matter what. All right, that's what I have for you. Please give a thumbs up. If you have not checked out my other videos, that might help you look at the titles. Um, I try to bring you a reading every day, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to leave a donation, please do so. Uh, it's deeply appreciated. If you'd like to um, have a one-on-one -on -one session with me for an hour, $70, and it's through Zoom, and we talk face-to-face. -face. But this person does want to feel like they're in love with you. They love you, but they, they're just making you wait. Okay? They think you, you will wait for them. That's what they say. Scorpio will wait. I'm the best. It's kind of like an attitude like that. Um, all right, Scorpio, I'll leave it here, and I'll send in love and light. Stay blessed, stay true to yourself, and see you on the next reading. Take care. Bye-bye.